Hello! Today's video is a small tutorial on how to set up Transys Pilot Pro before the pilotage. Commencing pilotage, please make sure that your Pilot Pro chart corrections are up to date. Update them, if needed, in the Chart Folios and Updates menu. Further on, you need to check the main units in the Units and Languages menu. Select your interface language from the list of available ones. In the Alarms menu, you can activate the needed alarms and set up their threshold values for further audiovisual indication. In the Chart Settings menu, you can set up the chart presentation parameters. Set up the threshold for depth display. And adjust the dangerous depth indication. In the Ship Settings menu, you can set up parameters for the own ship presentation, such as own ship motion vectors, and own ship vector scale length, displayed in minutes or auto scale. The headline can be displayed by course over ground or by heading direction. For calculation of tides, use ship draft and under keel clearance parameters. In the lower part of the ship settings panel, own ship predictor parameter values can be set up. Later, they can be easily adjusted during pilotage. In the distance base points menu, range reference points can be adjusted. Ship dimensions parameters can be set up in the respective menu. They can either be set manually or received automatically from the Class A ship transponder if it is used as the primary positioning system. The conning station is the main ship's reference point used as the base for calculation of speed vectors, bearings, and cross-track distances. The route for pilotage can be plotted beforehand in the Planning Tools menu. as well as the needed fender lines in the respective menu of the docking panel. Immediately prior to pilotage, please check the settings values in the sensors menu, such as positioning system, heading, rate of turn data sources, and pilot sensor connection parameters. A pilot sensor or an AIS Wi-Fi router can be connected to by means of TCP or UDP connection. Make sure that you have successfully connected to the pilot sensor. If connection is successful, a white check mark will appear in front of the selected connection name. Make sure that you are receiving correct navigational data from the sensors. Do not forget to check the offsets for the coordinates and the heading sensor. Have a safe pilotage. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more videos to come.